I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about the new first time home buyer shared equity mortgage. Let's do this. My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Canada and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, Start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification button so you won't miss anything. There have been tons of questions and confusion of the new first time home buyer shared equity mortgage. So let's go through the program together. Do you qualify as a first time home buyer? You'll need to meet one of the following qualifications. You have never purchased a home before. Secondly, you've recently experienced a breakdown of a marriage or common law partnership. Thirdly, in the last four years, you did not occupy the home that you or your current spouse or common law partner own. So how do you qualify? Here are the guidelines. You need a minimum down payment of at least 5% to qualify, and the government will contribute 5% for an existing home and 10% if it's a new construction. The maximum qualifying income is no more than 120,000. So how does it work? If you qualify, the government will contribute up to 5% for an existing home or 10% of the down payment if it's a new construction. The total borrowing is limited to only four times the qualifying income. So if you make say 100,000, the maximum mortgage amount you can qualify for on the mortgage is 400,000. So how does it get paid back? You can repay the incentive at any time in full without a pre payment penalty. You have to repay the incentive after 25 years or if the property is sold, whichever comes first. The repayment of the incentive is based on the property's fair market value. How does the shared equity work? The mortgage is interest free, but here's the catch. The repayment is based on the percentage of the property's fair market value. So here's an example. You receive a 5% incentive of the home's purchase price of say 200,000 or 10,000. If your home value increases to 300,000, you pay back 5% of the current value or 15,000. Or you receive 10% incentive of the home's purchase price of 200,000 or 20,000 and your home value decreases to 150,000, your repayment value will be 10% of the current value or 15,000. The property must be located in Canada and must be suitable and available for full-time year-round occupancy. The incentive may be associated with additional costs. So additional legal fees. Your lawyer is closing two mortgages, so you may be charged higher fees. There's also appraisal fees. If you want to repay your incentive, you may need to have an appraisal done to determine the fair market value of your home at that time. And lastly, there are additional fees uh, that may incur throughout the life cycle of the incentive, like switching your first mortgage to a new lender or refinancing your first mortgage. This program may or may not be the right fit for you. Everyone is different, so contact me and we can work out the numbers together. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification button so you won't miss another video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.